My favorite thing about former Trump lawyer turned counsel slash spokesperson for the Trump super PAC, Alina Haba, is that every time she goes on TV and talks about Donald Trump's legal problems, she ends up basically making Donald Trump's legal problems worse. So it was no surprise, of course, when they moved her off of the legal defense team because she's so bad at this, but it was a little shocking that she's still allowed to basically represent Trump as a spokesperson for his super PAC to still go out in the media and talk about his legal problems. It happened this past Sunday, folks. She went on Fox news Sunday, Alina Haba did, and basically said Trump could have deleted that footage that he was just subpoenaed for trying to delete if he wanted to, and nobody could have done anything about it. Let me read you this very, very stupid quote from Alina Haba. No tapes were deleted. He turned them over. He cooperated as he always does. If president Trump didn't want something turned over, I assure you that is something that could have been done. You know, if you just stop talking after the first two parts, like he, he didn't delete anything. He turned it all over. Like he always does that. You just stop right there. Like just end it. You don't have to keep talking just to fill airtime. Okay. You weren't on a quote of like, you got to say this many words. So keep saying stupid stuff. But she kept right on going like, trust me, if he wanted to do something illegal, he would do it. Yeah. Not uh, not a good look. And then she kept going. She was asked uh, by host Shannon Bream, <laughs> Shannon Bream asked, you rightly say that the tapes were turned over. I mean, they're in custody of the justice department, but the question is, was there an attempt to try to make sure that didn't happen? So Alina Haba, cocky as ever says this, if there was an attempt for him to not turn over documents or he wanted something deleted, do you not think that that's something he couldn't have gotten done? Let's just use common sense, but, but he never would act like that. He is the most ethical American I know. So I'm assuming Alina Haba, you only know one other American and that is Donald Trump, right? Like if he's the most ethical American that you know, then he must be the only American that you know. But also let's, uh, let's, let's walk it back here a minute again. Like, trust me, if he wanted to delete them, use your common sense. Don't you think he could have done it? We're now entering the OJ Simpson. If I did it territory, that that's not a legal defense, Alina. No wonder you were, you know, removed from the legal team. I don't know if you removed yourself because you couldn't handle it or if they removed you because you just weren't up to snuff on it. But either way, this is dumb stuff you're saying here. As per usual, I'm going to go ahead and offer you because I know you're not going to take my advice. I'm going to tell you how you respond to things like this. Obviously the new indictment that says he attempted to have people delete the footage. It's a big deal. So here's how you respond. We have seen the new indictments. Uh, we disagree with them. And I believe as this case moves forward, we will be able to prove that none of this in fact happened. As you know, Donald Trump did turn over the evidence. He turned it over. They asked for it. We provided it. So it's a little confusing that our, my client or my former client would even be hit with these charges because the things they're saying he wanted to delete, they have them in their possession. So I'm not sure what's going on here. See, it's still a pretty crappy defense, but the way I said it isn't putting him in more trouble, right? I'm not saying, listen, if he wanted to delete it, he'd have deleted it. Okay. He's the kind of guy that's going to do that. They basically saying like, oh yeah, he totally could do it. He would do it if he knew how to do it is what you're admitting. So Alina, once again, you're not good at this, but more importantly, Donald Trump, Alina Haba is not good at this. Sure. It's fun to sit here and make fun of her every now and then, but at the same time, this is your future, bud. This is your fate. And even though she's not on your legal team, she is still going out there and making your legal problems worse. So if you want to continue down that path, then by all means, keep Alina Haba on your payroll. But if you want to have your best bet of keeping your butt out of prison, maybe it's time to send Alina Haba back up to her parking garage client where she's, you know, more suited to use her very unique talents, I guess, because Representing you in a criminal trial, even just as a spokesperson is definitely not her forte. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know 
that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.